All right, this first one is from slash.org. Twitter confirms vulnerability exposed data of anonymous account owners. So that's the part that confused me a little bit. What do we mean by anonymous account owners? Is there, are all these Twitter profiles public? Well, you know, some social media networks like Facebook, they require you to use your real name. Uh, not everybody does, but in, in theory, you're not anonymous on Facebook. Twitter's not like that. So anybody can sign up for a Twitter account and you can use whatever handle you want and it doesn't give out your identity, right? So there's anonymity that's attached to it. Um, and what happened here is a, an attacker was able to take advantage of their, their login process to attempt to log in with a Twitter handle and it would fail. But in the, in the API and the backend work that was happening, they could actually see the email address or phone number that was attached to that account to figure out who it was. And so the handle might be, I'm trying to think of what, uh, uh, what handle Peter would use, but I'm only thinking of wildly inappropriate things. So, uh, uh, you're correct. That is right. So yeah. It, it, yeah. ginger FL, you know, whatever. <laughs> and that's, that's the handle. Well, when you go to log into a website, you probably notice this on other websites. If you go to put in your username and your password and it's wrong, it used to tell you something like, nope, that password is incorrect. Well, that message told you the username was correct. The username exists. That user has an account on that system. And if it was a like a naughty site or something, that was a way to kind of out that people were using that site. If you go to playboy.com and you run Donald Trump's email address and it says the wrong password, well, now you know that he had an account there, right? That kind of idea. So most websites have stopped doing that. If you put in a username and a password, it then just tells you outright, Nope, sorry, that, uh, that, that data is incorrect, but it doesn't tell you if it was the username or the password that are wrong. And Twitter, Twitter behaves that way. It doesn't tell you that that information was wrong. But the thing is, the Twitter handles are public. People can see the, the handle that you use on Twitter, and so they know the username is valid, and then the password is invalid, so they, they know the account exists. Well, in the background, as the API calls are happening between your browser and their site uh, to authenticate the user, an attacker found a flaw in it. And actually, a, a uh, ethical hacker had found this flaw and noticed that they were able to figure out the contact information for certain people based on the, the login process. They reported it to Twitter, and Twitter made an announcement saying, hey, you know, we found this flaw, but... Uh, it was reported by an ethical hacker, and so we don't have any evidence that anyone took advantage of this. However, it turned out that uh, Bleeping Computer had been in contact with a, a, uh, an attacker or a hacker uh, a few months prior, and they had said they used this method. And so Twitter took a look, and, and now they're having to back up on that and say, well, actually, it turns out before the ethical hacker reported it, there was a malicious threat actor that did gain access, and they were able to pull information on more than 5.4 million accounts, which if you've been following the Elon Musk Twitter acquisition, uh, 5.4 million accounts is like 10 times the amount of actual human users on the site. Perfect. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, I, I guess, you know, while this is bad, uh, at the same time, maybe having uh, these people be less anonymous will make Twitter just a nicer, happier place uh, because, you know, people no longer can hide behind that anonymity. But but this is something that's been fixed, right? Uh, it has been fixed, although, you know, obviously this one threat actor that they know of gained access to the data. There could have been others that they didn't know about that that also did it because, you know, you never the, the way this attack works is you never actually log in. You're just pulling information and attaching a real email address and phone number to an anonymous handle. So you're de-anonymizing somebody, but it, it's not exactly in Twitter's logs that that information was revealed. So they don't really know who all has access to that. So if you are a political activist and, just, and you've been tweeting out messages under a particular handle, uh, you know, it's the potential is there that your life could be at risk or, you know, uh, you could be under threat of being thrown in jail because you've now been de-anonymized. I do not have a Twitter account. And uh, it's funny, some of the people here at Black Hat were like, what do you mean you don't have Twitter? That's, that's where I get all my information. I'm like, well, it is not the only game in town. And I get to avoid all the nasty people that are on Twitter or apparently all the nasty non-people that are on Twitter doing mean. And, and my, I all had a Twitter bots. account. It just became... Yeah, they, it was it was not nice. I'll just put it that way. It was not. I was at work one time and I was like, "Oh, I gotta turn this off." 
because it got not safe for work real quick. Now, maybe they've changed things since then. <laughs> but, but I was like, man, people are going to think I'm straight up over here doing something I shouldn't. And all I did was peruse my Twitter feed. And I was like, you know, I feel like me and Twitter could go ahead part ways at this point in time. So we did. I like LinkedIn. LinkedIn tends to be very nice. It's all business focused. It's all about the things you're trying to do. Where Twitter just tends to be a lot of people doing whatever, you know. And uh, I didn't like that environment, so I, yeah. I jumped ship. I think in general, people are nicer when they're looking for a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird how that works <laughs> That's out. That's a good right? point. Yeah, there, there, are times, there are times after using Twitter where you feel like you really just need to take a shower <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and wash it all away because it, it can get pretty bad there. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.